Beautiful shot. Into the stroke quite early. Peels off the inner part of the bat and goes for four. Lofted. And catch taken. Shamar Brooks all along kept his eyes on the ball. Didn't have the distance. Disappointing in for Martin Gupto. Again, it's a cross seamer, so it sits up, it bounces, which means that Gupto gets far too much elevation on it. Never easy running back. Shamar Brooks did a good job. Good start by the West Indies. Pulled away. And he gets four. Clean him up this time. It ricochets on the stumps. Another wicket for Azari Joseph here at the Kensington Oval. Hitting it that hard once more. And it's the 22nd wicket for Alzari Joseph at this venue. Lots of feelers in that offside region for Jason Holder. In the air, gets a wicket. We're just mentioning the feelers' position in that region. And don't you just love it when a plan comes to fruition? Kevin Sinclair with the catch. Might have just brushed something on the way through. Hence, no wide signal. Reviewed it. Yeah, there's a gap. There's a gap between bat and ball, even though there's a spike. Keep rolling through. Keep rolling all the way through. Roll it through. Roll it through. There's a spike, but there's a clear gap. Keep rolling all the way through. Roll through. Keep going. Nigel, there is a clear gap between bat and ball. I'm going to advise that you stay with your original not out decision. Pretty well played, to be honest, all the way for six. Second time that Mitchell has done this against the same for the same result. He has quick feet and good power. Plays the shot well, and I think it's a much better option than the horizontal sweep shot, which on the surface with the bounce is difficult to control. Caught it. Appeal made. I tell you what, is there a little spike there, Bish? I think there is. That's usually enough to say there's something there. That's out. Maybe the West Indies have missed an opportunity there. The mid on is up, so it's a tempter for Allen to go down the onside if he bowls straight. There we go. But he's gotten on to it enough, I think. Yes. There's that shortness of length again and dispatched this time by the powerful and muscular Daryl Mitchell. Clipped away, length on offer, had enough room to just whip this through the onside. Fifty up for Finn Allen, his third in one day cricket. And well appreciated by his teammates. Well, that's in the air, flat and hard for four, is it? Maybe one bounce four, some good power. Reverse sweep again from Daryl Mitchell and the timing superb. Placement even better. This time he uses his feet and his power and holds out to deep mid wicket. Just the second delivery from wrong the wicket and Mitchell trying something that he didn't try previously. Hitting into the wind and caught well inside by Aki Lusin. Now just look at this signature celebration from Sinclair. Nice piece of timing from Finn Allen. It's gone for four. Oh, that's in the air. That's six. It's all the way. That's big from Finn Allen. Go short again. This time he hits in front of square. And it will bounce twice for four. Oh, that's flicked away. 
flicked away for six. Got inside the line of it and just helped it on his way off his hip. That sweep, there's the top edge, should be out, is out. Is out, much need to wicket. It's a kill Hussein, he does it again, the left arm spinner. And the sweep shot, which has been difficult on the surface, accounts for Michael Bracewell. Top shot. Yes, it Quran is getting under it and takes it. His hands are safe and Hussein strikes again. Just getting the better of Glenn Phillips, who was looking to hit that ball straight to that mid-off position. But because of the turn, the ball makes contact with the outer part of the bat. And it's miscued. Jason Holder struck again. What a magnificent day he's having. What a magnificent spell to follow his first. Finn Allen, though, has played well. That hundred will have to wait in ODIs. Another one down. What a delivery from Kevin Sinclair. What a comeback he's having. A young man of immense ability. has gone a mighty long way. What did that miss? Oh, it didn't miss anything. Clean him up. Excellence from Kevin Sinclair. Another one for him. Edged fine enough. Unintentional from Bolt. In the gap, powerfully drilled. Shot, what a stroke. Good timing, good placement. In the air, Sinclair himself gets under it and takes the catch. A fourth wicket in the innings for Kevin Sinclair. And Bolt going for the hoik, gets a lot of height and no distance. A good. Well judged catch from the bowler himself and splendid performance. Look at what it means to the young man. Gone. Success in his first over and for the second time in two games, Trent Bolt gets rid of Carl Mears in a very similar fashion. Crunched. Powerfully from Shea Hope. Clean him up through and through. Tim Saudi. There's that wobble seam or three quarter seam. Hit the deck, nip back. The ID length. In the gap. Well, just got his hands to it. Daryl Mitchell might just have grasped an opportunity. In the air taken, excellent catch. Absolutely brilliant from Bracewell again. Driving on the up, not to the pitch of it, aerially. And brings about his demise. Brandon King perishes. In the air and out, New Zealand have four. It's Finn Allen who takes the catch. It's the big wicket of Shea Hope. And the New Zealand bowlers are on fire. Oh, that's a beauty. It's well played too. It's out. Nicholas Poran's gone straight up because I think he dropped his hands and it's come off the shoulder. Ultra edge coming up. And the ball brushes the shoulder. Hits the shoulder, keep rolling through. Keep rolling through, keep rolling through. The flat line as it passes the bat. There's no bat involved. Oh, he's knocked him over. It's a big inside edge onto the stumps. 
what a performance this is from the New Zealand fast bowlers. Bolt's got two in the over, New Zealand have five, and the West Indies in a lot of trouble. It's the third inside edge of the day. First for West Indies. Edged and taken. That's beautiful from Southie. Nice, comfortable catch. And Guptill takes the catch at a second slip. The West Indies have lost six. And what a demolition job this is by Southie and Bolt. We've seen this so often from these two bowlers. Catching practice from Martin Guptill that slip. Jason Holder just guiding that one straight into his hands. He didn't have to move. That man there won't be feeling that good inside what he's seen from his batters. Oh, that's some shot. Bit short from Bolt, got the treatment. Lovely shot from Cardi for four. Chance for Ronald Bullers and direct hit. Martin Goptil. Is this a bit of brilliance? Third umpire, the television director. Have an umpire review for a run out. Can I have a look at your best side on angle, please? Yep, bat is short of the ground. Looks like there's a bit of rain coming in, another shower as well. So, the umpires have said to the ground staff, bring those covers on, please. Just about 53 minutes, uh, the rain delay. Now the resumption, and we have revised playing conditions as we go deeper into the second match of the series. Will be a 41-over game, and because of the amount of wickets lost by the West Indies, that Duckwood Lewis turn target now is 212. A reduction by just one run. That's a fine shot by Akil Hussain. Don't write him off. He can bat. Well tossed straight to the fielder and catch taken. Tim Saudi not with the ball but in the field contributing towards another one for the Kiwis. Slapped away. Azari Joseph taking out some of his frustration. That's superb from uh, Yannick Carrier. Six runs. Quick hands of Alzari Joseph. Sides it away for four. Now 100 to get off 69 deliveries. Catches the cry, big side of the ground. Guptill trailing it, couldn't get onto it. Nice straight hit. Lovely straight hit from Joseph. That is a top shot. If Yannick Carrier remembers anything about this game, if you watching remember anything about him, that's the shot. A half century for Yannick Carrier. In his second one day international, his first bat in international cricket. Nice striking again, straight, straight is the way. Six to Alzari Joseph, peppering that straight boundary. Extra pace. Alzari Joseph coming down late on this delivery. That's brilliant. No contact with the rope. Ball is released outside of the field of play. First point of contact within the field of play. Catch taken cleanly. 
I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. My decision is out. I repeat, out. So there it is. Innings coming to an end. Sheer brilliance to complete proceedings here by New Zealand. So in summary, second match going New Zealand way, winning by 50 runs. We had a few interruptions, hence the introduction of the Duckwood Lewis Stern method. So the series level that won a piece with one game to spare in a couple days time.